Oh, it is that time of year again for Christmas cookies. So, I have the Michael Gegsnell watt meter hooked up. 119.9 volts. And here is the KitchenAid mixer that I've had for fucking ever. And it gets used um, once a year. Now, to make cookies. So what I like to do, because what happens is the grease gets separated in the gearbox. So what I like to do is to run this for 15-20 oh, minutes or so and let everything get all mixed back in to help prevent further leakage from the seals as it has done over the years and they say that the best way to prevent that is to just make more cookies yeah yeah this is about the only time we make cookies so we're gonna go ahead and turn it on I usually put water in here with the the beater thing but there's actually really not a point to that so we're just gonna turn it on that's on the lowest speed using 42 and change watts I'll run it up Let it sit at each speed for a little bit. The whole thing is going round and round. Oh yeah. Now she's starting to move. That's top speed. We'll call it 125 watts, but uh, when it's got stuff in it, we're going to be pulling that and more. So we'll leave this cut for about 15 minutes or so to let everything rejuvenate and uh, then we'll come back. So now we're getting the ingredients. Here's some of the fleur. Put that in the bowl. We have a helper kitty. Here's a helper kitty. What kind of cookies are we making this time? Coconut white chocolate chip. Coconut white chocolate chip. So that's the start, and then we got plenty of other batches and all kinds of good stuff to do. Snow squall! They said this was going to be happening. They said it's just coming down for, uh, I don't know, half hour? Like really, really hard, and whatever we get, we get. And then everything is going to turn to a sheet of ice, and uh, that's going to be it. So we'll see how this progresses. Absolutely wonderful. Well, she's all warmed up now. Blowing the tiniest amount of warm air after 15 minutes. Of course, it's not under any load, but even so, these things are fucking tanks. Oh, 105 watts, which I think is down from what it was. And we're going to go ahead and take this down to the lowest speed. And it fucking idles like the big six. You know, pedal to the metal. And then it idles like a fucking truck. That's just brilliant. <laughs> and check out the wattage. Full power. I 
and then it goes up. I'll do it again. <laughs> Once it actually, the gearbox slows down and it gets to where it's actually powering itself, it starts pulling 20 some odd watts. But anyway, Ah, oh, nice. No, those brown things were not eggs. It's brown sugar. Look at that. Lowest speed, 60 some odd watts compared to what, 23 at idle or something? I'm going to let the whiff take over from here. So we've added some of the dry ingredients. We're making them greedier. Well, snow's over. That's it. They said it was going to come down hot and heavy, and it did for a couple minutes. And there's just like you could blow on the windshield and it goes away. And uh, that's all we got. The streets, they said, oh, we can't get the plows out. We have to have like a couple inches to do that. <laughs> it doesn't matter. There's nothing. Nothing's stuck. Even here, I don't have to shovel, get the snow blower, nothing. Not even being a helper. My goodness. Cockle nut and all kinds of other stuff in there. We're gonna mix that in and then make a cookies. Now we have the cookies all ready to go in and bake it. So nobody else can sit. That's it, you just take the chair, and just fall asleep there. I'm gonna be tucked in. And just like that, you're baking pasta. It's all set. All done. Perfect. Nice golden brown. Nice golden brown. Nicer golden brown. Meat. Ah. Cookies. So here's the last. Look at the golden brown goodness. Oh, indeed. Indeed. So we got this fancy dancy uh, three tier cooling rack kind of thing and they're ready to load into the tainer and then we can start other cookies. So until next time of Christmas cookies and there's not going to be another part because you're going to see everything you just saw all again except with chocolate chip and oatmeal raisin. Hooray! So there's some of the Christmas cookies and stuff and golden brown goodness and I love that kind. So, thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.